Hello everyone, welcome to Hunt Electronics and this is your friend Shakib and in today's technical session I've got a new product that is a PIR lights, okay? Uh, so I've got these two products from the Amazon itself uh, and you can see on the product itself written as an intelligent induction lamp. Actually it is not an induction lamp, it is a PIR light and what is mean by the PIR light? It is nothing but a passive infrared sensor uh, which is commonly used in a security alarm uh, uh, application or uh, automatic uh, light on of applications over here so on the product you can see here it can detect the human so how the human motion is detected it is uh, with respect to a passive infrared sensor so it uh, detects uh, receive the infrared radiation of the human body or the motion and it gets activated it is USB charged over here. Okay, it is a strong uh, magnetic absorption. So there are certain instructions given over here. Okay, uh, let us open it. Uh, so one you get a unit. So at the sensor you can uh, at the center you can see here it is a PIR sensor. One USB cord to charge it, and one magnet. Uh, one magnetic uh, magnet piece and one metal piece is given over here so where it is applicable so you can uh, so there is a 3m tape over here so which you can paste it over here and the metal cap wherever uh, you want to install this okay you can install this in the cupboard or in the corridor or on the staircase okay fine now uh, you can see uh, see here switch okay so it has got three different uh, modes over here one is off mode auto mode and on mode so my dear friends when i tested it on the on mode okay it has got a backup of uh, three hours uh, and when it, uh, so if i turn it on you can see here it has got ultra bright light okay so when you are on it for the light will turn on for three hours it will give the backup when it is in the auto mode so whenever there is a human detection it will turn on automatically after uh, 20 second uh, again it will the light will be uh, turn off automatically so on the auto mode it has got a backup of 25 days and off mode it remains off so uh, my dear friends i got this uh, pir sensor light for 150 rupees if you go and google it uh, on the different website you will get a different pricing for 150, 200, 250, 300, 400 and so on. Why there is a difference that depends upon the battery which is uh, uh, internal. It has got a lithium ion battery and depending upon the backup of this product. So if you want a uh, 30 days backup, 70 days, 90 days backup, depending upon that uh, backup, you know, the pr price get driffer okay now uh, it has got one usb port over here you have given the usb cable so let us uh, see how let's charge it okay so when uh, the one precaution that it should remain in off mode when you are charging that instruction is given at the back side of the manual okay so when it's charging it will uh, show the red indicator light when this light goes off means the battery is fully charged means it has got an auto cutoff suppose if you uh, put on for the charging and if you forget to switch off it will get uh, it will stop charging automatically so, so at the center you can see here uh, there is a pir sensor as i told you what is mean by the pir the pir is nothing but a passive infrared sensor so this sensor uh, emits an infrared radiation which gets reflected or the human infrared uh, radiation is detected by the sensor and it uh, sends the motion of the human and depending upon that motion of the human it's turn on and off so without wasting time let us see the practical application how we are using so my dear friend as you can see that when there is a no human motion is sensed by the sensor it remains off and as soon as the human motion is detected it turns on the light and this light turns on for a 20 second once the human motion is absent it will turn off the light again if again the human motion is sensed by the sensor pir it will turn it again it will turn on and once uh, the human motion or human sense is absent again it will turn off after the 20 seconds this is how uh, we can use in the certain applications so my dear friend uh, as you have seen the practical application of this okay let us do the tear down of this product okay so i will stop charging the product uh, for, to tear down uh, you require the tool that is a screwdriver which you have got so slowly you know you can insert a screwdriver from here and you have to pull this cover okay you can see here slowly without uh, 
getting it damaged and you can open this okay now you can see here uh, this is the PIR sensor okay and here you can see the USB charging port over here and here is the switch which has got a auto on auto off and uh, off position over here now you can see here the LEDs one two three four five six seven eight LEDs are here okay total eight LEDs are there each LED is of a 0.5 watt so uh, total it will give the 4 watt of uh, LED okay so basically it is not 4 watt there are some current control register over here and uh, due to that register this uh, output is of uh, near about uh, 3 watt okay so if I turn it on you can see here yeah so it is a warm white so you will get a two color option one is a natural white uh, warm white and total white over here so that is a daylight over here so if i make it off now slowly you can remove the switch from here okay so i've removed the switch and uh, you'll find a two screw okay we have to remove the screw Okay, so this is first screw and then the screw and here you can see this charging LED over here. So let us, I will show you once again how it is. So this is the red color, this is charging LED, you can see here, yes, red color. Okay, fine. So now slowly uh, from one side I can just pull it out, yeah. So at the back side, you can see the lithium ion battery over here. So this battery is of 3.7 volt up to 500 milliampere. So as I told you, this product, I got it for uh, 150 rupees. And this product price depends upon the backup of the battery. Suppose in the future, if this battery gets damaged, this is easily available on the various side. The link of this, I will be giving in the description. So if the, this battery gets damaged, you can order it and you can replace it. Okay, so this is 500 milliamp instead of 500 milliamp if you make it uh, a thousand milliamp battery, you know, there is a lot of space you can increase the size of the battery also, it will give you more backup. So once you it is fully charged, it will give the backup of 90 days means for the next three months, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now, uh, if you see uh, the sensor, which is PIR sensor, it has got a three outputs one, two, three. Okay, so one is always for a plus VCC, which is giving the voltage another is a ground and third is a digital output and this digital output is sensed by this ic and it will turn on and off so this is a multiple per ic over there uh, which will sense and it will turn on the light for 20 seconds okay that time is fitted into this for 20 seconds it will remain uh, on and then if there is a no motion it will remain off as we have seen in the video so here is one more ic this is a charging usb ic over here so when you are charging this uh, this charging is controlled by this uh, charging ic over here so uh, it protects the battery by uh, getting it overcharged okay so if the battery gets overcharged uh, it may damage the battery so this all charging is controlled by this ic okay so there is one transistor lo uh, logic when uh, when it will put on auto on and auto off depending upon that so my dear friend, it is a very nice simple circuitry uh, which is easy to install, easy to use and uh, most important easy to repair itself. Okay. So, okay. Uh, again, once again, we'll just assemble it again in this body. Slowly first you have to see the socket and this here. Then you have to put a two switch screw here as we have put it on. another screw another screw then put on the switch okay so it is also on and this test it whether you have fitted properly whether it is getting charging yes the charging light is on and then you can see here there are two notches are there one notch is for the switch and another for the charging port uh, according to the notch just put in this pestis so we, uh, this is very 
okay so this is very nice product over here so as i told you there is various application you can use on your staircase in the cupboard or night time whether uh, whenever the children are moving from one room to another towards the bathroom or uh, using a tear because it will turn on the light automatically and it goes off automatically it is a low power device uh, uh, with a good 3 watt uh, that is 400 luminance of the output so my dear friend for more technical session and product knowledge please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you